What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you what you should monitor on your Cobb access port and your Focus ST just to be safe and make sure that your six gauges that you have the option for on here are beneficial and it is something you should be looking at because I do, I see some people who have like RPM and stuff that doesn't matter on there when they should be looking at other stuff to see if there's issues and to make sure that everything with the car is okay, especially if you're tuned and have a lot of mods done in the car and some people call these anxiety ports because you look at all these numbers and if you see one that's slightly off then it kind of makes you worry and stuff but you really shouldn't have to worry too much unless you have a check engine light which for me i constantly have a check engine light because my o2 sensor is bad and i've been too lazy to fix it but i'll probably do that soon but this is a good way to monitor things like fuel quality uh, just make sure that your oil temp is right and uh, if your car is pulling timing or anything like that So what I monitor is boost pressure uh, That's kind of just to avoid like LSPI, which is low uh, Low speed pre-ignition where like you don't want to floor it under Like 3,000 or 4,000 rpm whenever you're in higher gears and you just want to build boost to low down But I also just like being able to see how much boost I'm pushing whenever I'm in certain gears and just with the temperature and stuff like that uh, that changes the boost and then oil temperature uh, that is a great thing to monitor I think anyone needs to look at that because this gauge over here isn't completely accurate so you definitely want to monitor your oil pressure because you do not want to go above like three or four psi of boost uh, until you reach uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit for your oil temperature uh, just to play it safe and that keeps your engine lasting longer. You don't want to rev your engine when it's cold So uh, I usually I mean you can still drive it. I usually start driving uh, I like will drive really slow and easy until it gets to about like a hundred to 120 And then you can start kind of going up higher in the rpms and boost and just kind of drive normally But I usually take it easy under that just to be safe and then especially if you live in a cold area I usually let my car idle for a while in the morning to get the oil warmed up so that's just a good way to monitor and see where it starts and where it goes to because that is actually an accurate number and then here is the octane adjust ratio uh, you definitely need to have that if you have an E30 tune but also just any tune that shows you pretty much the quality of your gas it should be negative one if your gas is perfectly fine and the tune can adjust for it uh, perfectly and everything will work fine like that but if it is like lower uh like whenever you reflash a tune it starts at 0.75 or if it goes under negative one and changes to like a different decimal that usually uh means that you have bad gas or your mix in your gas uh for e30 isn't uh completely accurate so that's just a good way to monitor your quality of gas which mine really never changes unless i switch my tune and then here i have long-term fuel trims this is mainly just for my car some people uh in replacement of this you might want to monitor like your charge air temp or intake air temp just because uh, it's interesting to look at and also you can look at your battery voltage on this i noticed because the focus sd doesn't have a gauge for that so I was having battery issues a while ago and I monitored uh, that. But I have this long-term fuel trim uh, on mine because my O2 sensor is bad and then I also have an issue with my wiring harness, which means this number is not accurate. I had it fixed for a little bit and then it uh, ended up, it quit working again. So I'm gonna have to replace the O2 sensor and a few other things. But this should be in between like four and 10, I believe, to be like, healthy and not causing issues but uh, I always get confused how it works with basically like the percentage of fuel that your car is like adding or taking away so I believe it's like a negative number that means it's just uh, your I guess uh, fuel mix or just fuel like the car is running lean or rich and that kind of shows you how the car is adjusting for that and if you're running too lean number will get really high it should not be a 17 that's not an accurate number for my car just because the sensor is not working but it should be in between like 4 and 10 for a healthy car that is running perfectly 
and that just kind of shows you where your car is running at if you especially if you have the e32 and that's really where this is useful because if you have too much e85 you'll start running lean and that is kind of where it can show you if you don't have a ethanol content sensor gauge and then also your air to fuel ratio that is a good thing to monitor i've never had issues with that but you should pretty much just monitor that anyways because uh, it should be in between like 10 i believe is like running a little bit rich but i get down in the 10s and then 14 is uh, where it should be at normally and then also when you let off the gas sometimes it'll go all the way up to 40 but you don't have to worry about that that's just kind of how it is it doesn't run like that whenever the car is actually under load and then underneath that i have ignition correction and cylinder one if you can you should monitor multiple cylinders for this uh, that just shows you if your car is pulling timing uh, you'll see on the left here, you really don't need to worry about the max values that are underneath here, but just look at the gauge whenever you're flooring it, and if you're flooring it and it's taking away like one, two, to three degrees, then you have some sort of issue that could be like spark plug related or just anything else really. But uh, also it can add timing, so you'll see on the right here if you floor it and then that number goes all the way up to four or five, that's a good, it just means that your car is running healthy and the tune is adding timing to the car. And then on the left, you don't really have to worry about like, if this, if you do a poll and you don't look at it and you see this at like negative uh, one on the left side at the bottom, uh, you shouldn't be too worried about it because sometimes it'll spike up really quick, but then it won't stay like that. But if it's constantly pulling a few degrees of timing whenever you're on a poll, that is definitely an issue you should worry about. And there are other things that you can monitor, like the air temps, some people like to monitor knock and like the knock and the different uh, cylinders but uh, I don't monitor that because that can just kind of make you worry when it's not usually a big deal because it is normal for these engines to like it'll say like it'll misfire actually not knock uh, I meant to say misfire there it is normal for them to like misfire like at idle you'll get uh, if you have like there's a gauge that says misfire count and that can get like to a seemingly high number, but that's not usually an issue unless you can tell the car is running rough and it's misfiring when you're driving it. And then it also would be good to monitor knock count if that is an issue with your car. It's pretty much just car specific, but I'm showing you what I run and what are the more important ones that you should be monitoring depending on how your car is. But that is pretty much it for what you should use your Cobb access port to monitor. If you have any input on this, feel free to leave it down in the comments because I know a lot of people have different opinions on what you should do with this and the best way to look at it. Overall, you don't necessarily need to worry about it. The thing I use the most is the oil temperature whenever I'm driving my car. After letting it sit for a while, I usually just keep an eye on that to make sure that I don't uh, push the car too hard before the engine is warmed up. And then uh, I've also used like ignition correction when I was like messing with spark plugs and stuff like that. But it's usually you shouldn't have to worry about it too much in a running healthy car. But uh, that's pretty much it. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Nick Jonep. And I will see you in the next video.